I just spilled coke. Not coke as in the drug or anything. Oh, hi there. Hello. And welcome back. Um, I want to start a new series on the channel, if that's alright with you all. I want to use this little space on the internet to talk. Talk about life, fears, dreams, passions, ask for help, be the help. No, no, I just, I, I want to connect. I want to connect with people. I want to connect with you. Because for a very long time, I felt disconnected to the world. I felt like I didn't belong here. That this was not the place I was meant to be. But recently, thanks to Tumblr, I found out that no, I'm not alone. So many others have felt and feel the same way that I do, that it's just insane. And that makes me, A, sad, because no one should feel this way too. But I also felt, B, relieved. Relieved that I was not alone. And I guess that's, that's one of life's biggest things, isn't it? We feel so alone all the time and it's insane. I know. All I wanted to say is that this is new. This is real talk. This is a support group. A place to share how we feel and to know that we're not alone. So welcome. Grab some tea, maybe some coffee. Let's share. Let's talk real. The very first subject that I want to talk about, in which you already know and you're like, what? By the title of this is, uh, it actually, it came to me um, the other day. When I saw my reflection on, an, on my notebook and I saw the biggest double chin I have ever seen in my entire life, I was just like... <laughs> For real, I almost cried. Inside I was like, I hate my body. I think I mentioned this before, but I have a lot of self-image issues. I've suffered from that ever since I was around like six or seven and for many years i have tried either to embrace my body or to break it one year i was like hella proud of being chubby or i simply didn't give a single shizzle about it and then the next year i was like starving myself and hurting my body with painful thoughts and sharp knives and you know i blamed skinny people for so damn long I hated skinny girls my entire life. The media painted them as rivals to me. As people who were to blame for my body shape not being accepted. But then I started to think and I realized that no, they're not to blame. It's the media, it's movies, the ads, the magazines, Photoshop. And then I started thinking and realizing how many thin girls hate their bodies too. How anorexia is a huge, stormly, I don't know storm, if stormly is a word, but I don't care, stormily, reality, for so many beautiful ladies who probably wait less than my leg. It is still not enough for them because people, ugh, people tell them that perfection exists and it can't be reached. But I need to tell you and me a secret. It doesn't. It doesn't exist. Perfection does not exist in humans. I don't know about nature because seriously some things made in this world to me are perfect but in humans it does not exist there is concepts of what perfection is like for instance i find purple perfection i find the beetles perfection but others hate it they hate purple they hate the beetles they think they're flawed and a terrible band and that is the problem. We became, we as in society, okay, became so obsessed with one single idea of perfect body shape. But we forgot each human beings have their own concept and thoughts about what perfection is or even what beauty is. And I think this applies to so many things too. I mean, body hair, sexuality. So many things that are pushed onto us and we don't even realize it until we say something mean about ourselves or others. I think that's the problem. And I also think that the solution lies within ourselves. I, I mean, me sitting here telling you to say I am beautiful in front of the mirror 
You know, it won't erase all those years being called fat by your crush, by your friend, or by your family. It won't. It may help, but it won't fix it. So I think what we need to do, and I am doing this a lot, is point the finger to the media, the fashion industry, marketing. Seriously, when I took marketing in school, I wanted to shoot myself in the head. I just hate it. I hate because we're thought, we're taught that we should sell pretty people, that we should sell sex, but not lesbian sex, not gay sex. Normal, steamy, passion sex. We should show breasts, but women can't feed their kids. Like, marketing doesn't make sense to me. The media doesn't make sense to me. So let's point the finger at them. Don't get angry at yourself because you don't fit in those jeans. Get angry at the company that didn't make a bigger size. Because, you know what? Chubby girls exist. I am here. My bones are bigger. Simply, I, I, I can't go on a diet and I still have big bones, big structures. That's just how the body works. So get angry at that company for not making a bigger size. Not at yourself because you can't fit in them. That's just not cool. We should also make changes for the future generations. Let's not drag this to our children, to our little sisters and little brothers. Let's show them that it is okay to be who you are. Imperfection is an inner concept that everyone has. And it changes from person to person. I guess, I don't know, like I said, this is a support group, this is a place to talk about stuff, about weird stuff that we feel, and I've suffered from this a long, for a long, long time, um, and I thought it was time to talk about it. I mean, what I wanted to say is, as long as we're healthy, or at least trying to be, who exercises, I know, but at least try to be. And not jeopardizing our futures. Dude, let's be who we want to be. Not who someone else wants us to be. <sighs> okay, so that was it. Um, this is new, and I don't even know if this is gonna turn out to be cool, or if people are gonna like it, but I wanted to try this. I wanna try having real talks. And now that we have a bunch of people watching, I thought, what a perfect idea, what a perfect, per what a perfect timing, what a perfect timing to do this and try and get more people to talk with me, because usually I talk to myself, <laughs> and I wanted to share this. So yeah, maybe in the future we can talk about ch cheery stuff too, <laughs> not just the body issues and stuff like that. If you liked this, ratings are really appreciated. Um, share it with people that you know and that you think, oh, well, maybe this person needs to hear this. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you next week. Bye! I spilled Coke. I still think I'm talking about the drug.